up in our program today, early detection is the way to go. And doing our bit for charity while out shopping. Hello everyone, welcome to Asia Down Under. This summer has been one of the driest in history and farmers and their animals have been the hardest hurt. But I went to visit some Indian farmers in the Waikato to see how they're coping. The district of Waikato is home to a number of dairy farmers originally from the Indian state of Punjab. Most of the farms are family run and many have been in the region for decades. For them this summer is one of the driest in memory and is causing them grief. I mean it's, it's very stressful in many more than one way. It's um, I mean one is just mentally the thought and, and the heat of the day and the heat of trying to work in this and of course the next thing is managing our animals. I mean they have to be fed regardless because they they can't go anywhere else so we have to provide food for them and that is a major uh, distracting factor and a stressful factor where are we going to get food from well actually affect the farmers uh, financially uh, we were we were expecting a good payout and good returns but uh, due to uh, long drought the uh, individual farmers probably, probably lose average uh, 80 to 90 thousand dollars. It's really hurting with loss of production and having to buy in supplementary feed. And well, in the long run, we've got to start regrassing and thinking about what next year is going to bring. But it's just extra dry this year. Although the grass looks green. The dry conditions have stunted its growth and the growth of other supplementary fish that they rely on to get through the winter. The uh, supplementary feed, if we, even if, I get, uh, if we get a rain now, probably that will take uh, at least two months to grow the uh, uh, lot of feed. So that will affect the, that will affect the cows yeah, uh, you know, during carving time too. We try to grow as much as we can of our own and conserve it during the spring. And of course this year we had a very cold spring for a start and then uh, when the peak of our growth we didn't get very much rain in November. It was um, uh, a very dry November. And then we had some rain during Christmas time, um, upset all the holiday makers. But um, that was a godsend for us. It kept us going for the month of December. But then since January, we just haven't had uh, uh, any, any uh, measure of rain. Check this out. Look at how hard the soils become in this paddock. The soil is very dry. It's incredibly dry. I think if we dig, we will have to dig a long way to find any moisture. And that, that, that is the whole story. I mean, the grass needs moisture. Uh, to grow, um, uh, whereas now the farmers are going to have to uh, actually spread more grass seed or, or, or drill more grass seed into the pastures, uh, otherwise they will be just weeds. There has been sporadic sprinklings of rain now and then since Christmas, but it's no way near what's needed to break one of the worst drought conditions in the region in a hundred years. So those sprinklings in fact uh, uh, make it more stressful. Uh, when we get those sprinklings of rain, the demand on the growth, the demand on the grass from the animals uh, is huge. You can literally, they, they're looking at you bellowing, they want more feed. Um, the grass, the dry grass which is standing falls and rots because it's rained and we need a lot of rain for the grass to continue to grow and become uh, uh, sufficient for the cows. While there is a lot of stress out there, the farmers are hoping a good dousing of rain will improve the conditions. Well, we've got to have a sort of a soaking rain to start off with, which sort of, you know, you at least want 50, 40, 50 mils. And then after that, I suppose after five or six days, you want a good top up again of another 40, 50 mils. Those two or three mils is not going to do anything. We are, we are hoping we will get the rain soon. Then we put the fertilizer, we put the more nitrogen so that uh, the grass will grow more. 
So definitely rain, we are praying for rain and we want enough of it to really give us a good soaking and then perhaps some follow-up rain to um, increase the volume of grass. Farmers seeking advice can call the Rural Support Trust helpline.